Link 215 here, Let's Talk Battle Rap. I know it's been a while, man. I said they've been to the dentist. They've been fucking me up and shit. Had to get a tooth pulled. Couldn't talk right. But now, I'm back. Even though I got fucking another root canal to do and shit. But let's talk about Born Legacy 4, man. Um, This is an interesting card, man. We got six battles on the card. Um, Legit matchups. Um, Do we have a legit main event? I believe so. I believe so. Um, let's just break down these battles, man, because this battle was, these battles are interesting. You got some kind of up-and-comers, like somebody who could leave their mark, somebody who could reach the next level in tiers, um, and you have people who could drop farther down. So let's get into these battles. Jazz the rapper, Jazz the motherfucking rapper, my favorite female battle rapper of all time. It's between her and the fish, but I always give my nod to Jazz. Um, versus E Heart, the beast, right? Um, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. On paper, it's hard for me to argue this battle. It's hard for me to think of actual things I can I can give to E-Heart. You know, this is me. I'm from Philly. You know, everybody know that shit, man. Home of the spitters. I don't care what y'all niggas say. Home of the punchlines. Home of everything. I know schemes. I know shit. You know, I, I know this shit. So, when I watch E-Heart battle, I feel like she's aggressive. She has solid lines. I, I don't think her projection... Um, separates her good lines from her bad lines. They kind of blend in together to me. That's it's all, it's all me talking, right? And Jazz is just um, her pin game is different, and she. I just don't see how can she lose <laughs> to somebody like E Heart. If you take the best E Heart, I don't know who you feel is the best E Heart, but let's take the best E Heart. Let's say her versus Hustle. Her versus Forty was really good, and um. I don't want to say misfit. Um, she did really good against Goddess. Like, like, if you take any of them three and you're trying to line that up against Jazz, who battled 40 bars, it's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work with Jazz versus um QB. Like, how? Like, it just the lines are different. You know what I mean, and Jazz to me has battled people similar to E Heart. I'm trying to think of who E Heart. Battle similar than Jazz, you could say it's more of a goddess, but goddess didn't show up for that battle. I remember watching that battle, and it felt like she was spitting mixtape bars because she just battled Miss Hustle a week before. So it seemed like goddess was really preparing for that battle and took this battle for the check. That's how I feel. So, I, I fuck it, three zero Jazz the rapper, man. I just don't see it. I don't see how she could lose to it. And Jazz respects. E heart, so I feel like this is more reason why her pen is going to be sharper. She's going to be more aggressive. It's just she's really going to try to beat her, and I think she's going to edge her the first two rounds and blow her out the third round. That's how I believe. All right, the next battle we have is T Money Bags versus Prez Mafia. This is <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about this. Um, this is difficult right here. Uh, Money Bags ain't nothing to fuck with, man. Um. But Prez, I think Prez is on a certain mission that Moneybags is on too, though. It's like, he, trying to get his respect. He'll be doing it for a while. Um, he has to battle, like, vets and shit, legends and shit. And and he, he's on Smack. I think the last time Moneybags was, I don't know if he ever was on the Smack card, but I swear he was on that that Poison Pen card that, that Smack that was on the URL, the joint that had Mad Fafa and um, Marv 1. I think he was on that card. I'm not sure. But that's a long time. I feel like he's going to come and he's going to try to knock his block off. But I got to go with Press Mafia 2-1, man. I think it's going to be a close battle. It won't shock me if, if Moneybags come in and win the battle. But I, I got to go with Press 2-1. 2-1, debatable. Uh, we have O-Red. This is a good one. O-Red versus Av. Now, a lot of people don't know this. I don't like Av, man. I don't I don't get it. And I don't hate him. I think he's nice. But I don't get it. I don't get what people are saying. Again, I'm from Philly. Fuck you mean. Home of the spitters. Home of the punchlines. Home I'm like when he spit his punchlines, a lot of them are nice. But there's there's nothing groundbreaking that people put him on this weird pedestal. 
I'm confused. I'm like, I don't. It seems like everybody needs that horse they could bet on, and he's one of them guys. Like even home in like New Jersey, totally they see him. I'm putting all my putting all my eggs in his basket. That's who I'm riding with. The climb to the top. Um, home versus old red. It's fucking scary. Definitely that Av. Uh, no, Av probably written his rounds for over More likely he did. But like, if he's still working on them, and he versus over who been off for a while, who who's known to, to that he he can rattle anybody. Like he has the ability to fuck up majority of battle rappers. Period. And I don't see how Av is special. How people say, I don't think Av. I don't think Av beat Rum Nitty. I don't. Like I think he had a good battle. I think I've had a good battle against Chess. I don't think he beat Chess. I I watched the battle. I clearly see somebody who's giving me punchlines, who's giving me wordplay, word association, and real life situations, real shit. It that's Chess. And then I see Av, who's giving me some really good bars, some okayish bars. His setups are okay. They're not crazy, but they're not corny either. I'm not going to say that. And I'm looking like, how is this guy compared to be on the same level? It's just, it's two different things, man. So I feel like right there, old red, I'm not going to say he's going to 3-0 Av. I'm just saying he's going to 3-0 Av. I, I just don't, I just don't see how Av can really fuck with old red if old red show up. Now, anybody can win this battle. Av can win this battle 3-0. O'Reilly can choke all three rounds. But it'd be confusing to me if, if O'Reilly has three clean rounds and he doesn't win two of them. I'm just, you know, so to be safe, I'm going to say 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. Uh, so let's go on to the next battle. New Jersey Torque versus, I don't even know the bull name. I, I didn't even write this down. Um, wow, Wheezy. No, easy. Oh, Lu, Lu, Luizy, Lu, Luizy, Jewy, guess we. I don't know, I don't know. But sorry, man. Um, I don't know your name properly, and that's disrespectful. So I'm um, definitely there's on um, prediction. I could easily look it up right now. But you're battling with somebody that you're built to lose against. Um, you watch wrestling, my man. Um, but wrestling is fake, right? I mean, because this battle rush is real. So we ain't gonna bring that up, right? Let's bring up boxing. You're a tomato can. Now, I ain't saying you are, but that's how you're booked in this matchup. People look at New Jersey Swerve like he's a legitimate guy. I mean, he's still building himself, but they look at him as that, as such. They know he has the ability to shake the room up in the middle of the round. Um, they're using you because they're saying it's impossible for you to be twerk. Only twerk could be himself. So you have to go and leave Earth. And I don't think you are. I don't think you're going to leave Earth, sir. I think you're going to rely on Twerk to somehow drop the ball. And that's not going to be good for you. So it's going to be hard for you to win a round. So I'm going to say 3-0 Twerk. And I hope I'm wrong. Nigga, I hope you show up, nigga, and whoop his ass. I don't think it's going to happen. So it's up to you to prove me wrong. All right, what do we have next? Oh, Bill Collector versus Mr. Wavy. This is going to be on... Um, it's going to be interesting right here. Let's cut to the chase. I think Mr. Wavy is going to win 2-1 based on the fact he hasn't battled in a long time. He got extra bars he's sitting on. I think Bill Collector is going to win the first round. He's funny. He got charisma. He got punches. But I think Bill Collector can fuck Wavy up. Honestly, I can. It won't surprise me if this man come in and just knock him off. But I do feel like um, Wavy is not corny. Wavy is unique. And um, he has the ability to shake the room up in the middle of a round. And he got stood up his last battle. So he might have at least an extra round of like crazy bars that wasn't specifically aimed at ill that he can use in this battle. And that's why I feel like that would give him the edge to actually even win this battle. He's going to have more material. That's how I feel. So 2-1, Wavy, but Bill Collector can't fuck Wavy up. Uh, okay. Quote unquote, the main event of the headliner of this card, if it's not Jazz and E Hart, it's going to be Steams and um, Danny Myers. Danny Myers coming back to um, URL in New York. 
This time, last time he was here, he faced it um, over it up. Not over it. I'm sorry. Um, T-Rex, I believe. And the crowd didn't really treat him with the proper respect. And I feel like the same shit going to happen here. He's going to come with rounds on a scale of 1 to 10 that's going to hit 7.5 to 8 each round. And the crowd's not going to give him the proper respect. The issue I think Danny Myers really have is that he's battling with somebody in Steams who needs this battle way more than Danny needs to be Steams. I feel like Steams is at a worse situation that I don't know if he sees it like this. He probably shouldn't because he's the competitor. He has to believe, you know, he's the whatever greatest of all time and shit. But he supposed to be, quote unquote, a leader of a group. That's how it's presented to us. That it seems like Chess has became the face of. It seems like the image they he wants to give out is he is the Charlie Clips to Chess as DNA. But it doesn't look that way because you're not looked on the same level or higher than chess. People look at you as beneath. So this battle right here, he can change a lot of shit. Somebody who is respected in the battle rap world. Um, not everywhere, but you know, a lot of people look at him as truly a bar god. Like he he's really different on how he do things. If Steams, he's he got the punches. If you clean up the flow just a little bit, make it more jappy nipple simple. Um, don't hide your punches. I feel like I feel like he has more to gain, and that's why I feel like he's gonna win this battle. I feel like he's at a at a stage that if he wants his name to be mentioned with the T top, the Brizzes, cause they don't bring him up. They don't be like, hey, I want to see how Briz and Steams will look. No, like, but they would say Chess and Briz. So now this battle could help him get to that level, and I feel like that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna. He's going to snap. He's going to step to the next level. And I feel like Steam's going to win that 2-1. 2-1. And that was my predictions, man. Um, I had to hear who y'all think going to win the battle. Who y'all hype for the event. Uh, Born Legacy. The series itself is solid. It's good. I wonder where they're going to go after this. Like, are they actually going to try to do Born Legacy 5? Or are they going to try to do a couple a year? Like, let's like cap it off the two. Even though next year, I mean... Fuck, this is the end of the year. What the fuck I'm talking about? So are they going to do two Born Legacies next year? Are they going to do five and six next year? Are they going to do every event that's not, quote-unquote, the big... They have two big events, right? Because they're going to do two Summer Madnesses next year, and they're going to do a Gnome. So it's like anything that's not a Gnome, is that going to just be a Born Legacy? Are you going to brand every event that's not, quote-unquote, the big two Born Legacy? Or traffic? You know, traffic is traffic. So I wonder how they're going to do this. But again, man, leave your fucking comments, man. Do you like this video? Thumbs this shit up, man. We put to say to the people, oh, subscribe to the channel. You know, more content, shit like that. The Battle Rap Rankings is out. I got Jazz the Rapper for this Born Legacy 4 shit coming out. So Jazz the Rapper is out now. Um, we're doing hip-hop ranking shit on here, too. The J. Cole one is out. Go and check that shit out. That shit entertaining. I did that with Mizaku. That shit's cool. Um, more Battle Rankings to Hollow the Don. Check that shit out. Everybody... Uh, more people watch that video. That seems like uh, that's the headliner right now on the channel. And let me stop talking. I'll catch you on the next video. That was my mind frame. Peace out.